filmmaker and University of Utah professor Dr. Enrique Aleman Jr. visited Las Cruces to take part in a discussion on educational inequalities and to show his film Stolen Education. The film tells the story of a 1950s lawsuit against a Texas school district. The ruling in the lawsuit, Hernandez v. Driscoll Consolidated Independent School District, halted the school district's practice of forcing Mexican-American students to complete three years of the first grade. Dr. Aleman Jr.'s late mother, Lupe, testified in the case. For the film, Dr. Aleman Jr. explains how Mexican-American students were discriminated against during this time. This part of, the, of South Texas, there was a lot of farm-working families, and so you had migratory patterns and you also had lack of access to, to high-paying jobs. And so for a lot of these families, they were, they were you know, relegated to only certain types of jobs with the, the majority of the power structure owning the land and running the school board and running the city councils. And so um, parents and kids were, were relegated to these types of second-class citizen uh, types of uh, experiences. After the ruling in Brown versus Board of Education, desegregation in schools did not happen overnight, but it was lawsuits like this one that continued to challenge discriminatory practices. Yeah, when you think about it, it happened right after the Brown versus Board of Education court case, and so it, it was it was in line with a lot of other cases that were being brought to the to the courts, and you know I think it was part of the the, the legal strategy of some of these early civil rights groups that they were trying to chip away at some of the ingrained and the really entrenched uh, discrimination that was happening. The film also shows the legacy left behind by Latino civil rights groups that were beginning to organize and challenge segregation in court. And that's, you know, that's one of the reasons I wanted to tell it too, to, to really acknowledge that we, we had leaders in our community and they were willing to put up a fight and struggle to, to better opportunities for their kids. And that's, that's a story that's not often told in our textbooks. Uh, and in our history, that um, we should understand that our parents and our grandparents were, were part of that, part of that activism and part of that leadership that, that isn't often acknowledged. Dr. Enrique Aleman Jr. continues to travel the country showing his film Stolen Education. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.